Conservative new media peeps and Olympic basketball fans all around the world. What is up? It's me, John DeVillo, the four-time national champion, joined by Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA slash basketball expert. A big win here, in my personal opinion, for Team USA. They just beat Argentina. This was a close game for a while, and then uh, Team USA stretched this thing out. Final, I believe, was 126. Uh, Paul, you can give me the final scores there. And, and I, I, all I remember is, you know, that, that this was a close game. And then Team USA was starting to stretch this thing out. And you saw, you know, the stars really come out for Team USA. But they even benched some of those stars here towards the end with LeBron James and Kobe on the sidelines. But it was uh, Harden with that last second three, the chain of three, to really stretch this thing out to 126, Paul. What happened here and what secured the victory for Team USA? Yeah, it was 126 to 97. That's a 29 point uh, victory by Team USA. This game was all about the third quarter. The USA outscored Argentina in the third quarter by 25 mm. points. So that's basically the ball game right there. This was a very close game except for that quarter. What happened in that quarter was that the USA got real hot in terms of shooting, particularly from the three point range. And Argentina in that quarter couldn't hit anything. So it was basically LeBron James and Kevin Durant that did the, the real uh, damage for Team USA in that quarter. Kevin Durant had 17 points in the third quarter, five three-pointers. He simply couldn't miss. Everything he threw up was going in. LeBron James had nine points and at least one or two assists uh, in that quarter as well. It was, uh, look, Team USA did what they needed to do. I will say this, this game is closer than what it looked like. And if Team USA it hadn't gotten hot when they did, it could have still ended up being a closer game. This is almost like this was a, it was, it was almost the same as a Lithuania game for Team USA, except that Team USA got super hot in that one quarter. I think that we're seeing that some of the world might be catching up to Team USA this is the second straight opponent that Team USA has allowed to shoot 50% or greater from the field against them. That's not a good sign, but all credit to Team USA. When they had to step up, they did, and they got an important victory today. But uh, there's still some signs there that if you're a Team USA basketball fan, you've got to be a little concerned. Now look, you know, Team USA, we, we, we won't put it in perspective, they're 5-0, and no doubt about it, but they play Australia next. And, you know, uh, you know, hats off to uh, Manu Ginobili and and that, you know, Argentinian team. I think like what we're seeing right there, I think we're seeing some great play from teams all over the world. And I think that, you know, it's going to take Team USA's best to continue to win and secure the gold medal. My personal opinion, first of all, my personal opinion, and not that J. Fax, not cast this person, all for entertainment purposes, please check the slammers. Um, but so, you know, but at the same time, you have to say that, you know, I would think that based upon that third quarter and the first half versus the second half, maybe uh, Coach K uh, was able to make the right adjustments there and the team came out. And we're also seeing some of the star power and, and the explosiveness of Team USA. But, you know, like you said, Paul, I need to see some more basketball here. And I think the Team USA needs to really, you know, continue to play strong and even up their game to be able to uh, uh, maybe secure that gold medal perhaps. Yeah, look, if I was, I agree with that. I agree with that. If I was playing against Team USA, probably the first thing I would do is make sure that I have Kevin Durant guarded pretty much at all times. He is right now, in my opinion, the premier scorer for Team USA. Mm -hmm. I don't think he, personally he's as good as LeBron James, but he's scoring as well or better than anybody on the team. So if you're going to stop Team USA, you're going to have to make sure that you've got at least one defender on Kevin Durant pretty much at all times. What about Melo? I agree with you. It, yeah, Melo, Melo certainly he had he that 39-point game. There's no question about that. He was a little more uh, held down in this game. He only had five points on one of six field goals. But uh, Kevin Durant, I think, is probably the best pure shooter on the team, uh, in my opinion. And when he gets on a roll, it's extremely difficult to stop because he's so tall. He, he, it's hard to block a shot. A lot of length. Deny him the ball. This was a great game. It was exciting to watch. Uh, even when USA pulled away because they were so hot, it was fun to watch that. Uh, I'm 
looking forward to Team USA versus Australia. Ooh. We'll see what happens. Hey, there's a lot to talk about here, and I want to hear from all the fans around the world. What do you basketball fans think about this? Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Also, looking forward, what do you, what do you have to say about this You know, uh, uh, Australian game, uh, ver team versus uh, uh, USA team here and, and, and that game coming up. Australia versus the US, that's coming up next. Speak on all of it. We want to hear from you right now. Comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John DeVillero, the four-time national champion. That is Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA slash basketball expert. We are conservative media. Please rate this video up. Also, please post to your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.